everyone 30 days of course it's day 17 and today's question asks have i ever worn plastic boning and oh have i ever <laughs> um before i got into wearing like real corsets i had an array of like corset like garments and plastic bone bustiers that I wore throughout uh, my late teens and very early 20s. Um, as I had told you in a previous video, my first homemade corset had uh, some plastic boning in it and then I put uh, steel boning like right at the waistline. They were a little bit too short for their channel so I put it right at the waistline where there was the most um, tension on the corset and the most curve. And I've also purchased off the rack corsets that I did not know they had plastic boning until after I had already received it. So that included actually two corsets from Burlesca. Um, one that I had purchased, I think back in like 2009. And I told that story before I had purchased it from like a punk and alternative shop in Montreal. And uh, they told me it had steel boning in it. And I took it home. I realized I had plastic boning in it. And that's when I realized that if I ever um, shop for corsets in person, I should bring a magnet with me and check for myself. Um, and then I received another corset from Burlesca for review. And that ended up having um, plastic bones in it as well that was the Athena corset and uh, I believe they told me that that was steel boned as well and it ended up having plastic boning and uh, once I showed them that it had plastic boning they're just like wow okay we need to go back to our manufacturer and make sure that they really are putting steel bones in our corsets so uh, the third corset that I reviewed from Burlesca did end up having steel boning in it fortunately um, another corset that I purchased that I thought had steel boning in it was uh, the Victorian underbust from Gallery Serpentine and and um, I purchased that secondhand from eBay and before I had purchased it I asked them hey is it steel boned uh, and they told me yes now I did not purchase it from the original shop I purchased it from a, a previous owner so they could have been mistaken or they could have been lying just to make the sale so I'm not going to fault gallery serpentine for that sort of thing um, but that was a heavier type of plastic boning so uh, I would put that more in the range of synthetic whalebone as opposed to the feather weight boning that uh, is very lightweight and warps to uh, the warmth of your body and kinks very easily. And apart from the whole discussion of, you know, the, the wastefulness of plastic, um, the fact that featherweight boning and acrylic boning tends to soften with the body and warp and kink and curl and poke um, in a places of high tension or a high amount of curve, that seems to be the main concern and the main problem with it. And so when people were going through the 30 Days of Corsets um, series first time around, and when I uh, answered this question last time six years ago in 2013, um, plastic boning seemed to be kind of like universally shunned <laughs> you like universally um like thought to be inferior but actually uh, since then uh luca costigliolo who is a, a very proficient corset maker very accomplished and makes a bunch of historical reproduction wear for movies and such he wrote an article for foundations revealed a few years ago uh, a little bit of a controversial title or maybe a clickbaity title called why plastic is better than steel and uh he goes into the details of uh why a good quality quality synthetic whalebone actually uh, behaves more like real baleen, real whalebone, uh, compared to steel bones, and how a good quality synthetic whalebone, especially bought from Germany, uh, tends to not behave the same way as acrylic featherweight boning in the way that it sort of kinks and curls. Uh, but it does soften to your body, it does mold over time so that when your corset is fully seasoned and you take off the corset, it just forms these undulations on its own. But he also goes into the details of like how many bones are in those corsets and how they are placed so that they function properly. And since then, a lot more corset makers that do historical reproduction work have also been using um, synthetic whalebone. And I talked about this in my video called uh, Exceptions to Corset Rules. So Luca Costigliolo is one of them, uh, as well as Ties That Bind and Laurie Tavon. And I think Red Threaded has tried uh, synthetic whalebone as well. 
you will have to like go into their shop and specifically request the synthetic whalebone or you'd have to look at the listings and see which corsets they use synthetic whalebone for and which ones they use steel for um, but now that is an option so and that just goes to show how innovative the corset industry can be and how quickly opinions can change about using certain materials within corsets uh, in such a short amount of time you know five years ago um, plastic boning was thought of as like the worst of the worst apart from you know rusted like scrap steel in, in courses and obviously that should never be used but uh now people are actually seeking out corset makers that use synthetic whale bones so so in summary uh, even though i have purchased quite a few corset like garments or, or bustiers um and even a few off the rack corsets that i did not know had uh plastic boning in it and i was quite disappointed in those results because for the most part that was uh, the featherweight acrylic boning that poked into me um i have not as of yet tried a historical reproduction corset where synthetic whalebone was deliberately used. Uh, but I, I am interested in trying it at some point. So if there are any of my patrons from Patreon watching this video uh, and you would like me to review a corset that has synthetic whalebone in it in the future, make sure you vote this month and uh, we'll see how it goes. So that is all for day 17 of 30s of corsets. Thank you for watching me. If you have tried a corset with synthetic whalebone or plastic bones, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of it. I'm sure many of us would be curious to know your thoughts on them. And I will see you next week for another video.